time I can remember walking, I was fishing with my grandpa and my, my dad, fishing Little PD, Lumber River, freshwater fishing. And had an uncle that moved down to Merle's Inlet, had a beach house, and I fished down there with him some. And back in the 69 and 70, I got hooked on the salt water up here from bass fishing in the Cooper. And been fishing ever since. Try to average 100 days a year. Don't always make it, but try. kind of hit it off. Uh, he's the smartest man I ever met and I'm the luckiest fisherman I know. So it was, it was a good combination that uh, we started working on our, our tackle together. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of where we, how we got started. The, the origin of the trout I jig, I, I'll never forget it. Uh, Ralph and I were out fishing the Wando River one day and he said, you know, I've always you know, I like this jig we're fishing because it has an eye on it, but I've always wanted a jig with a big eye on it. And I was like, let's, you know, let's try to make one. Big eye, large eye was an idea I had from years of offshore fishing. Uh, a friend of mine, Charlie Warner, who was a DNR, we, we talked about it several. If you look back at some of the older offshore rivers, you got Hawaiian eye, you got big eye, you got sea stray, you had a lot of big, big eye plugs out there. And that was to draw attention to the bait. And, and then I, I paid attention to that. And if you look, if you go in the rivers and the creeks now, when, when, the, when the minnows come out and the hatchlings come out, and the first thing you see is the eye. I mean, that's, that's is the eye. And I think that's what attracts predator fish to that bait, is to see the eye. And, uh, we talked about design, and just trying to make a head that was pretty much predominantly nothing but a big eye, with a little bit of a nose on it. And uh, we, I think at first we kind of set out to make it for ourselves. <laughs> we right. made the, the perfect Charleston jig. It's a 3 16 ounce big eye. We had one eye color and uh, one with a 3D eye that um, we glue onto it. And we designed it from the, from scratch to be uh, perfect for Z-Man because that's what we like to fish. And so out of that resulted this right here, which is uh, the initial first um, trout eye 3 16 hand mold you just make six at a time and now it's kind of a museum piece I think because uh, we started out literally and not kidding I pouring this on my back porch and uh, we had no idea if it would work if, if, the, if the jig would flop on its side or if it would even be any better than anything else and uh, we went out and in a matter of hours I think we caught seven species of fish with a super grand slam including it was quality fish, we had a 26, 27 inch red fish, nice flounder, a bunch of trout. We, we, I think we knew we were onto something when, when we had a day like that, it was pretty incredible. Tackle shop started buying them and uh, eventually Daniel Nussbaum and Z-Man started using them. Asked eventually if, if we might be able to include it in their product line. Well, I've gone to my go-to bait, only thing missing is a breakfast cigar. Put it out there, let it get on the bottom, and just do a little, I call it a 10, 10 to 11, just it was hoping, kind of nickname that little twitch, a little like that, bouncing off the bottom so you get a little bounce action on it. Missed him. <laughs> he snaked me. <laughs> you always heard, don't look him in the eye. Predators strike the eye. And that's kind of how it got started. And, uh, Dave's engineering skills and fish cooperating, we, we, here we are. Hung up again. You know anybody in the jig business? <laughs>